single sign-on in a seamless manner to my third-party apps and Office 365, Matt, you're crazy. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about when you're in a hybrid Azure Active Directory topology. Let's take a look. Seamless SSO is pretty awesome. When I have password hash sync or pass-through authentication in my hybrid Azure Active Directory topology, this is where this starts to come alive. And it's awesome because it works with not only my Office 365 account, but also other third-party apps. So let's take a deeper look at this and actually how it works. Okay, we're gonna look at two separate scenarios here with Seamless SSO. The first one's sign into a web browser application. The second one is sign in using the native client. So let's say you're trying to sign into Office 365 or even a third-party SaaS app from a domain join computer, Windows Server Active Directory domain join. Now, if the user is not already signed in, they're going to be redirected to the Azure AD sign-in page, and they're going to type in their username in that sign-in field. Using JavaScript in the background, Azure Active Directory challenges the browser via a 401 unauthorized response to then provide a Kerberos ticket. The browser, in turn, requests a ticket from Active Directory for the Azure AD SSO ACC computer account, which represents Azure Active Directory in Windows Server Active Directory. Active Directory locates that computer account and returns a Kerberos ticket to the browser encrypted with the computer account's secret. The browser forwards the Kerberos ticket it acquired from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory decrypts the Kerberos ticket, which includes the identity of the user signed into the corporate device using the previously shared key. After evaluation, Azure Active Directory either returns a token back to the application or asks the user to perform additional proofs, such as multi-factor authentication or maybe conditional access. And finally, if the user sign in is successful, they're gonna be able to access that app. Now let's talk about what this means when you're in a native client configuration. All right, so the user tries to access a native client application. Maybe it's the Outlook client for Office 365. So they launch the Outlook client as part of Office on their computer, their computer's domain joint, Windows Server Active Directory. And if the user is not already signed in, the native app retrieves the username of the user from the device's Windows session. The app, in this case Outlook, is going to send the username to Azure Active Directory and then retrieves the tenant's WS Trust MEX endpoint. This WS Trust endpoint is used exclusively by the seamless SSO feature and is not a general implementation of WS Trust protocol on Azure AD. The app then queries WS Trust MEX endpoint to see if integrated authentication endpoint is available. The integrated authentication endpoint is used exclusively by the seamless SSO feature. Now, if this step succeeds, a Kerberos challenge is then issued. If the app is able to retrieve the Kerberos ticket, it forwards it up to Azure AD's integrated authentication endpoint. Azure Active Directory then decrypts the Kerberos ticket and validates it. Azure AD signs the user in and issues a SAML token to the app. The app then submits a SAML token to Azure AD's OAuth2 token endpoint. Azure Active Directory then validates the SAML token and issues to the app an access token and a refresh token for the specified resource and an ID token. And lastly, the user then gets access to that application. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. Go back, rewatch it, lab it up, read the documentation, learn as much as you can. But here's the deal, folks. When you're in a hybrid Azure Active Directory topology, you can achieve true single sign-on to all of your apps, whether they're on-premises, Office 365, or even third-party web apps using this feature. All right, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, share, and give me feedback, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.